we are here on the second day in the SCU in Europe. And now on my side, uh, Heike. Heike, perhaps you introduce yourself because there may be some people who don't know you. <laughs> yeah, for sure there are. Yeah, Heike Ritter, I'm a technical evangelist um, within Microsoft and my focus at the moment is uh, Windows deployment, Windows client and enterprise mobility suite. Mm -hmm. And you have a session on the SEU, what was the theme? So my session here was about remote app, Azure remote app, it's a new feature in preview, a new service in preview. Mm -hmm. uh, so actually not what I'm doing usually with clients and enterprise mobility, but um, great, great service and I love it, so I had a session about it. Mm -hmm. And because it's a preview and it will coming soon, I would like to uh, know a little bit about, about this. What is this function? So the service is about enabling uh, mobile users with various of devices to access applications. Mm -hmm. This can be an office application like Word, Excel, PowerPoint, but also um, line of business applications because the service is available in two different deployment methods. One is just a cloud deployment that has, uh, that means the virtual machine is running in Azure mm -hmm. and the machine has the default image like Office mm -hmm. on it or you can also deploy it in a hybrid deployment which means the virtual machines are getting domain joined to your environment. You have the f yeah, full control, you can control them, manage them with group policies and everything and you can install on those images the line of business applications you need and the clients they only need a remote desktop client mm -hmm. they start the client they see all the apps that you have published to them and then they open them and work with the applications that's really funny because when I started with um, Office 365, I think it was the second year I was on the seabed and a lot of people, because of the name, they renamed it from Business Productivity Online Suite to Office, to Office 365. And a lot of people thought, oh, now I can have Office in the cloud and um, the client, really using the client. So at this point I have to say, to disappoint the people and said no sorry that's that's not and now we have this right yes so I th yes exactly so because it's a remote desktop session so the client um, the software runs on a virtual machine like terminal service mm -hmm. and um, the uh, mobile device or the client that you use for it's just opening a remote desktop session and the application itself really runs in the cloud mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay so back to your normal life <laughs> so w what is your favorite function in the moment uh, where you can talk i mean you are a microsoft evangelist and you 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 are passionate about the technique so what what is in the moment your the function you like most so i would actually say it's um, one product within the enterprise mobility suite it's azure ad premium because it has so many features i try to to really um, talk about the enterprise mobility within a session within 60 minutes and I couldn't make it because <laughs> <laughs> I went out of time and I haven't really covered everything that is in Azure AD because it's mm -hmm. such a great um, product or service and with so many different functions and it's every time oh not every time but every let's say two or three weeks i open the browser i go to my azure id premium there's something new coming up <laughs> it's amazing yeah. yeah it's it's a yeah it's great love it this is something I notice in the moment um, uh, with this cloud service. It's really like every time we said in the first time we said every three months coming new things, but this is not the reality anymore. <laughs> it's it's not so because I think um, we in the past we were like trying to first finish everything until it's really well done mm -hmm. and. I don't know, w was in beta for years and then we brought it out, but there were some other people or, or other companies having the same stuff. I think now, as soon as we develop something and we think it's great for our customers, we just bring it out. And even if it's maybe not 100% perfect, um, it's there, they can use it, we get feedback and then we develop on, on the product whilst it's in preview, in beta or maybe mm. also general available already. But um, yeah, we learn during we have the, um, the service life, we also learn from the feedback and improve it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I say thank you for the interview and I hope you have a nice time in Basel. Mm -hmm. I do, thanks. <laughs> <laughs>